this will be yours. See this junker? I paid $100 for it. What do I do with her? Hmm? I sell her. We really should weld these bumpers on. We use super, super glue instead. Waterfall off. Definitely. The sawdust quiets the gears and lets the engine run as sweet as a nut. For a couple of miles, a two-directional drill. You run it backwards, the numbers go down. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts hang. What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ, today we back with another lit video, back in the confessional, and yeah we staying lit big dog. hey man shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day, shout out to the homie Lucky Wheels of Deals man, we keeping it lit, and uh yeah man, we keeping it lit, we, this is one we had to speak about man, cause this is your boy Mike, Mike Ayo, shout out to the 32 gang and uh, and uh, Wolf Pack and Cool Kids and PRP Nation and all that and the team Nike and team Big Royalty and the Royalty Rats that be sucking on her like making it look like dreads like your boy Mike Mike now back to Mike Mike we're gonna get into this now Mike Mike it man it's my boy Lucky he's 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 a connoisseur of Mike Mike and I watched Mike Mike too I actually was put on to Mike Mike through Lucky Wheels and Deals channel through the car channels. You know, when you be in the car network, you start to see a lot of car channels. So I got put on the mic, Mike, right? And uh, I want to let y'all know, man, this is this is the kind of stuff that the kind of car channels that we as car influ uh, enthusiasts look up to is Mike, Mike, because he always puts out the real deal when it comes to the cars. You know what I mean? But uh, one thing we don't see with Mike Mike is him addressing a lot of situations. Now, recently, he has had to take his cars from one of the shops that one of the people who he uh, considers a friend. And this is what I want to tell y'all about friends and business. Sometimes it don't always work out. When you got friends and business, uh, if you lose that business, you lose a friend also. So you take two losses at once. And I think that's what happens, you know what I'm saying, right now. But you know but again i'm gonna bring some car content for the 32 gang because you know 32 gang man y'all love the car content it's the 32 gang subscribers man you know what i'm saying i, I appreciate y'all like i appreciate you know you know the people who y'all represent so you know because we all like cars we car enthusiasts so when there's some drama on the on the tube I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it up and we're gonna go to it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't always gonna be stuck on the CJ so cool and the royalty beef, man. That's just something that happened. It's going, but let's get back into it. Cause we we here for the drama, you know what I'm saying? The drama for your mama. So let's get into it, man. So we got your boy Mike Mike. He made this post the other day. He made this post that says, uh if you're going to tell your side of the story, just don't tell a lie about it. I offered to pay the full bill the same day you said you were struggling with the shop. You said it had nothing to do with my car being there. You said it didn't have any, you didn't have any walk-ins coming through the shop, so you wasn't making any money. I offered to pay full for the Fox Body bill when we were on the phone. While we were on the phone, I zelled you money so you could do something for your kid's birthday don't try to play me like this was a youtube deal for shout outs and tags when we were building this car together as a shop build claiming that extra work was added when we literally did the exact same thing to my turbo coupe there is really no difference in parts between my two coupes other than the supercharger and turbo at the end of the day i did out of did stuff out of a gen out of genuine love and y'all was doing it all for the clout. I offered to pay two weeks ago when you were struggling. I also offered to pay when I picked up the car yesterday. Let's keep it 100. How many times have you called about giving up on the shop? My C6 went there because you needed work and I said I'd pay you to do the C6 real quick. It sat there in pieces for four months Please don't try to flip the narrative and make it seem like 
I'm begging. I'm, a, I'm the begging YouTuber. I never once asked you for a discount or sponsorship. I never once hassled you about a price on anything. Fact of the matter is, y'all really mad that it wasn't reach. I wasn't resharing every single dumb Instagram post y'all tagged me in. I have money, so it's never about the money. All right, man, there you have it. He say it's never about the money. But, like I said, we don't know the whole conversation, but of course, both both of them shared their opinions, and this was Mike Mike two days ago, voicing his opinion on YouTube in the community tab. You can go see this post, go check out Mike Mike, and you know, you'll know you see what you'll see what he posted. All right, and... Uh, he just saying, put out the, uh, put out the evidence. Show me some receipts. So the first video we get is from 650 Motors. 650 Motors dropped a video a day ago. Actually, nine hours ago. He dropped a video nine hours ago, and Mike Mike dropped his soon thereafter. So each one of them are telling their side of the story. Now, I don't know if this is a plot and scheme to get things rolling for either one of them. But again, when it's messy like this, uh, it tends to attract a lot of drama. And who else better than to do car YouTubers than myself, big dog? Hey, so let's get into it. Let's see what 650 Motors, his side of the story, and let him explain it. Now, I'm going to be honest. This sound like it's gonna be boring. It's a 22 minute video. Okay, it's a 22 minute video. I'm not gonna make it, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get through as much and try to get as much info as needed. And then we're gonna slide out and get our opinion. Then we're gonna jump into Mike Mike's video because Mike Mike two days ago was the initial one to put out the statement that he was not messing with him. Now he could have not said anything like he has done before but for some reason mike mike had to address this situation so let's get into it where you guys are missing the point is this isn't over social media or any posts or any clout this is just simple guys mike mike came over to our shop he was cool he got here we got we got his car fired up we got to a stopping point we all went in the office i'm not going to tell you guys exactly what was said but he wasn't happy about us posting the video which is understandable right i would i'd want that um now i don't know what the video is i think it's the video where he says what's what went wrong with the fox body because there are there is a video where um, Supercharged Live Fox, Fox starts for the first time. So I'm, I'm guessing that's the video. It was three days ago is the video that he posted. So I'm guessing that's the video. Um, If that was my car, you know, but whatever we we. And it only makes sense to not post anything about Mike Mike's car until Mike Mike reveals it. So I'm going to put this on you, big dog. This That's probably where you messed up at. What you should have did was kept this, this video in the archives, saved it up for the next, you know, after he dropped his car, after you completed it and sent it back to him. Let him drop his content video and then you can roll out every video of uh, the build of Mike Mike's uh, Fox body. And those will get more hits once they see the after product. When they see the the beginning stages and stuff, it, it probably won't get as many views because they get they get to see the finishing product from Mike Mike, and then you know they that's who they want to see it from. But once they get it from you, it's kind of like it's not gonna get the same it's not gonna get the same push because you're not Mike Mike. So that's why you gotta let him reveal his car first. And then piggyback off the momentum that 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 reveal has brought because people want to know how was it built you know at that point so that's just a little word to the wise you don't have to take my advice but you see it you see what it did when you posted the video without we didn't you know, feel like we did anything wrong we were we were given he didn't tell me i got the car running he didn't tell me not to post it i mean i i posted all the videos and other content without him 
and it's been okay. But it's simple. All that happened was Mike got mad that we posted the video. Words got exchanged. He, what ended up coming from that was he called me ungrateful. And at that time, I just, I sit, I decided that, you know, I'm not ungrateful. I just, I simply, I just walked out of the, the office and I decided at that point, that was it, man. I, I just didn't need to work on this guy's car no more because he was my friend. And I, I don't know, you just don't call your friend that and somebody that's just been busting their ass off and pretty much working their heart out and risking not making any money for my shop, but instead focusing on that car. And you guys don't understand how tough it is when you move your shop to a different location and you know, you're new and all you're doing is working on someone's car and you're forgetting about everything else, you know, that, that took a toll on me. And, uh, but yeah. Well, I would just say this guy, man, if you own a business, yeah, you could do stuff for your friends, but you gotta remember, um, you have a business to run. And your friend, like you said, he, like Mike Mike said, was sitting at your shop for four months. It probably would have had to sit another month if I had work going on. So, which makes me believe that at the point, at this point, you didn't have any work going on. You didn't have the money to pay the people to be working on stuff. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Let's get into Mike Mike, what he had to say, man. I didn't gave you a spiel and hopefully you take my advice. But if not... Shout out to five, uh, 650 Motors, man. Y'all go check them out. Six, that's spelled out, S-I-X, 50, 5, 0, 650, all one word, Motors. 650 Motors. Y'all go check them out. Y'all can watch the full video on his page. All right, so now we got on the screen, we got the Yellow Predator, man. You know what I'm saying? This boy is ready to get it on. But anyway, let's get into his side of the story. I'm not finna hold you. We've already heard six, uh, 650 side. And we're going to hear from Mike Mike and let's see what he got to say about this whole debacle because things may seem different. Things may change depending on who's listening. Because if I'm listening to you telling me about how bad my work is, the only thing I heard was how bad my work is, but not that you trying to help me replenish the problem or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So let's get into it. This situation is not like any of the other situations I've been in, man. It has nothing to do with, oh, me talking about him based on bad work still to this day to this point man i've you you guys have seen the videos i've always spoke highly of Edgar. um i've never had anything bad to say about his work to this day i still don't have nothing bad to say about his work i'm not i'm not gonna doubt my you know even though we ain't on good terms i'm not gonna downplay the man's work the man's work is clean uh i still think he does good work this situation has nothing to do with shop related work at all zero nothing to do with that you know, people are trying to flip the narrative and saying, oh, you know, this is a repeated thing with Mike. Mike tends to do this. People are saying, oh, uh, he had an issue with Twinkie. Everybody's seeing how the car was with Twinkie. Man, the, the car was fucked up. The the situation with Works Customs. People, oh, you know, the, the painter at Works Customs, the car was messed up. And I never even got on here and addressed anything publicly on YouTube about Works Customs. But since we're... That's what I'm saying. If you never really... And uh, talked about a lot of this stuff publicly. I remember, I guess the name guy the name was Corey or something, a big white guy that was working on the turbos, or he was working on the air intake and how the airflow is gonna go. And he was building you some custom tubing and stuff like that. And you never really discussed on how y'all broke up. You kind of touched on it, but you didn't give a full detailed description. I'm, I'm wondering it's because of how he wanted to do stuff and it was making the performance of your vehicle worse. You know what I'm saying? Instead of better. And I think that's why y'all went to it, but you never brought it up. You know, I mean, you, you didn't even dwell on it. Like, after that episode was gone, we never heard you talk about it again. So, this situation makes me feel that there's something more to it. We're on the topic, and before we get into things with uh, the situation with Edgar, let me go out here and show y'all the shit that I never showed y'all about Works Customs and the reason why we had the falling out. All right, so, I mean... Works Custom must have commented some crazy stuff under one of the uh, 650s posts for him to really go in on this. Y'all are all familiar with my LSA 350Z, man. Um, and y'all 
Y'all know that I ended up switching painters that's currently doing my, my uh, turbo notch. But yeah, man, let's, uh, I'm gonna show y'all, man, some of the issues that we're coming up with, the situation with, with worse customs, man. And the thing was, I tried to give him a chance to fix and rectify the situation. Um, when I picked up the car, car was supposed to go back and which is a repeated cycle him is oh i'm gonna get it back in the car doesn't go back in you guys seen when my boy janky picked up his car car's messed up not enough clear it's cracking and you know he picked up the car that way he paid 10 grand for that car or 12 grand 10 or 12 Damn. grand whatever it was to get that car done and he picked it up with scratches on it that came from them after paying it but you know this is how my 350 is you know things are cracking chipping wow all this stuff was supposed to be fixed never got fixed you know, I didn't jump on here and, and and talk about that, but it's oh Mike, Mike just likes bashing people. Mike, you know, it, it don't even be that. Oh see that's another thing with car YouTubers, man. We go to well we I ain't a car I ain't I ain't got a car channel where I openly express what I'm fixing on my car, but when I take my stuff to people and they don't do my stuff right, I'd be frustrated, but I got I can only vent to people I know. YouTubers, they vent to their audience. And that's the one thing about dealing with YouTubers that uh, car companies or car uh, mechanics are starting to not do. They're not trying to work with a mechanic because, I mean, the world of YouTuber because they're like, nah, you're going to, if I don't do right, you're going to put me on blast. If I do do right, it's just, you know, whatever. It's not really free promotion because your video has to touch at least 10,000 people for it to for one person to buy your stuff. So you gotta sell, you gotta make a uh, uh, 100,000, you gotta have 100,000 views before you can amass 10 potential buyers for your, uh, for whatever it is. Once you are done with dealing with a person, man, just stop dealing with them. You just, if they messing up your car, man, it just ain't nothing you could do about it. It just ain't nothing you could do about it. You can't, you can, you can pay the person, or you you can't get your money back unless it's a corporate unless it's a corporate entity like like Mako Mako will give you some money back, but like if it's just a regular shop guy, you got to take the loss and pick it up, and then they want you to not to complain about it whenever you get on your YouTube channel or on the online or give them a bad review. They don't want you to complain about the sh terrible work that they that they did. Over Fender literally on here is starting to starting to crack, and this all started happening literally. I want to say a month or two after I got the car back, shit start cracking, and you know chips, all you know, all kind of stuff. Y'all see that for yourselves, like um, the situation with Cody. Man, it, it comes down to oh, it comes Cody, down that to work. Um, it literally comes down to work being done. Went to the shop, he told me in text everything. Oh, I did all this, and then when I go to the shop, none of the stuffs put on. He even apologized publicly for saying, oh, you know, I shouldn't have lied about doing work that I never really did. Um, my truck currently ain't here. Why? I spent $4,500, bought a trans from him that was supposed to be good. What happened? I want to say two months later, trans start slipping. Mind you, it's a level seven trans built for 1200 horsepower. Um, you know, trans goes out. Trans ain't here. Y'all already know I've been redoing things on that truck that Cody did. Um, you know, it, it, that that situation comes down to work. The situation with, with Miggy sent the Jay-Z to Texas three separate times, man. Three separate times, and I got my, my motor back, pulled it apart on, on YouTube for y'all as I it came that. on a crate. I remember that. And showed y'all what was inside that motor. There was sand. Yeah, him and uh, White Mike or White Aaron. White Aaron, they pulled that junk apart, man. It was towed up. I ain't gonna lie, man. That's see, that's the thing what people don't understand about car YouTubers, man. These guys spend real money on their cars. Like luck, man. Luck breaks down how much he spends on cars a week, and I'm like, damn. Like if if that was, like I could I couldn't do that much on cars. I couldn't do that much on cars, and these are cars that he's flipping. Also, the cars that he uh, personally keeps. So if he's spending that much money on upkeep and stuff, man, it's definitely costing him. So I know Mike Mike is going through it. When you gotta go through all these different people, when you pick your car up from a shop that and your car is not running that you paid for it to be running, and you gotta take it to another shop for them to do the exact same thing and you gotta pay them the same money. 
you doubling up like and then you can't you don't know which car shop is going to be the best because you all everybody tell you that they're the best but then you be like man let me try them out for myself man or or you be like man nah, i don't trust his word i'm gonna go over here to this other person this other person talk a good game show me what they got but then you get your car and it's not what you wanted that is the that is the downfall of car youtubers is that shop mechanics ain't ain't worth nothing you know what I'm saying? Find you one that's smoking a cigarette on the side of the street and they need work. And you really you put them to work, they'll they could some of these crackheads can cherry pick a motor by themselves without without a horse. So, you know, pick and choose your battles, man. Or you gonna be on YouTube up here uh debating if you right or wrong. But we, we don't know the whole situation, who's right or wrong. But let's just put it like this, Mike Mike. You got to hold accountability to yourself because as a friend to whoever this guy is, 650 Motors, as a friend to him, you got to hold that because you, you you put your trust in him. Now, you can go put your trust in another mechanic or you can reconcile your differences because you got a good mechanic. And that's the thing about a lot of this old school stuff. If you get a good mechanic, you don't want to let him go. But then they might be doing some janky stuff on the side too. So, you know, it is what it is. You're going to take, you're going to win or lose it. But at the end of the day, you're going to be all right, man. Everyday people, man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>